Hello friends, it's me. And today, ow, I cannot tell you how many times I heard myself doing that little clap. Today, we're going Karen hunting. Hey, what? What is this? I would have screamed too, but the fact that she stood there and kept screaming. Ah! She acted like he just dropped dead in front of her. What is this? Like it was an accident. Karen screaming like she was the floor that that guy fell on. Do you think you're being just a little dramatic? Unfortunately, some mothers are also Karens. And this one decided to blow up her kids' phones. Quite literally. I take back my role as your parent. Oh, we got the kids right here. Standing there, about to witness the execution of their iPhones. Who's recording? Hereby denounce the effects Nuggies. that social media Nuggies. have on my children, their disobedience and their disrespect. There's the phone. <gasps> <gasps> she blew it out of the iCloud. Are you kidding me? If you are so concerned about the effects of social media, like who's recording? Who posted this on the internet? My children's lives are more important to me than any electronic on this earth. What the dog doing? <laughs> you know, it took me a second to realize that that's a dog and not another tree trunk. I refuse to have them influenced in negative ways, contacting people they don't know, oh, yeah. being involved in drama they don't need to be in, oh, yeah. and being in trouble in school for having phones out. I mean, she kind of has a point, but like y'all are recording yourself doing this. You know, you could have just sold the phones. Literally just take a sledgehammer and just bonk. I think it's a little excessive. I mean, I don't know how bad those kids were. I feel like if you take away their phone, they're still gonna find a way to be bad. Breaking their phone right in front of them is not gonna solve any issues. Like what, they're gonna go to sleep tonight and wake up perfectly well-behaved angels? You know, I sure learned my lesson. I'm gonna never cause a problem ever again. No, they're gonna wanna cause more problems now. And now they got time to scheme up some new problems to cause because they don't have a phone. I saw this on TikTok a while ago. These women refuse to pay 25 cents for some sauce. I don't know if you could call these Karens or wild animals. Like they started throwing things. They got the alarm going and they jumped over. Hey, she threw a chair. Nobody's stopping them. Everybody just like pulling their phone recording. And now she gonna start twerking. They ripping the whole place apart. Y'all have the time and energy to do all of this, but y'all can't pay 25 cents for some some sauce. Hey, this is just sad. Now they just destroying the whole place? <gasps> the person recording is doing exactly what they should do. I hope the cops were called. Is she collecting the sauce? She taking it to go? Uh, I think I'll help myself. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> she didn't know friendly fire was on. Just launched it at her like a human shield. <laughs> you know, this video has made me lose faith in humanity. All those people in the back that could have stopped them. No. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? They have you on camera doing this. You know, actions have consequences. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna get fined. All the damage that you did, you will have to pay it back. They did all of this because they didn't want to pay for some extra sauce. Please, there are bigger problems in this world. Ready to talk about what is wrong with this? The person driving did absolutely nothing wrong. They slowed down before the crosswalk. And yet this guy, why aren't you walking in the middle of the crosswalk? Why are you walking so close to this car? It's like he is having such a horrible day. He decided to take a walk every single crosswalk. He was waiting for somebody to come that close to him so he could punch the hood of their car. You know, the least you could do is honk at him. Before they could even break and stop, he was ready. He got the fist out. You know, it probably hurt his little knuckles more than it hurt the car. You're not supposed to have e-bikes on this thing. Uh, this is a handy fat cat piece of equipment. And? And what? Show me the rules saying that you're allowed to do this. You're serious? Who yeah. are you? This is so embarrassing. I am protector of this forest. There will be no use of handicap equipment. Imagine someone rolling up to the park in a wheelchair. No, sir, you can't use that here. You're you... breaking the rules at the park. You it's a handicap mean. piece of equipment. I can't walk. Bro literally can't walk. The nerve of some people. <sighs> you should have led with that. I said it. You're... Is this your husband? Class act, brother. You're a class act. You guys are a class act. You know the rules. Class act. I mean, you're you to be there. Bro. God, dude. So let me get this 
straight. This male Karen over here is riding a bike, but on this specific part of the trail, you're not allowed to ride a bike. But you want this guy who literally cannot walk to get off his handicapped bike and just tie it around his neck and walk on his arms through the part where no bikes are allowed. Is that what you're asking? He's lucky he's in such bad quality because he just humiliated himself. Look at this crazy sh man. Like, like for real, bro. Well, how did she get there so she fast? She want me to hit her. Oh, that's well, another I one. Put the refrigerator in the house. We can't lift that thing. We don't even have a dolly. They just want him to move the refrigerator instead of asking him. No, we're not gonna let you leave. I'm literally gonna go under your car, so you physically cannot move your car or leave until you get the job done. We can't move it ourselves. You gonna have to move the refrigerator. This is the most childish behavior I have ever seen in my life. Like. Like, for real, bro. And then what we got this one? What grandma she doing? She want me to hit her. I cannot believe grown adults are doing this. You know, maybe they're so old, they got nothing to lose. Hey. Just put your phone. I'm sorry? Just put your Someone is in a horrible mood today. He is there to drop off clothes. She is asking, just to drop off, like, do you have anything else? Are, are you here to pick up? He just took it like, what do you mean? You offer other services? Y'all selling burgers in the back too? Like, no, I don't want anything else. Bro was just having such a bad day. He was like, you know what? Never mind. This human interaction today was just so unnecessary. I will take my business elsewhere. This Karen is a classic. So she was driving and got into like a road rage incident where she started yelling things at the guy that's recording and then he followed her home. Well, somebody has time today. Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Know you. Ma'am, you flicked me no, off. Liz, you're ready to take it. Guys, this is her license plate I'm number. She lives no, here. No, this is her address. No, like a hurt animal squealing in pain. I thought sticks and stones break your bones, but words can't hurt you. Not in this case. The words are doing all the damage here. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you cut me off and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? Guys, she flipped me off. Oh my gosh, she's just making this so much worse for herself. Is she expecting somebody to just come out and like help her? I never seen somebody play victim so hard. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why you? Am I attacking her? If talking to her is attacking her, she will not last five minutes in a workplace. If overthinking and overreacting was a person, this would be it. She hears screaming, crying. Maybe if I say this guy is attacking me who clearly isn't attacking me, he'll go to jail. What do you want? Do I look good? I've been working out. Or does the Jeep look good? Or does the side-by-side -side look good? Or does the Hellcat look good? Which one? Or the driveway? Or the new paint on the house? And she's just a fan. She's probably like, I saw you on YouTube. So many Karens do this. Like, they will literally just, like, walk up to your property and start taking pictures, like, thinking they did something. You took a photo. Congratulations. Time to go waste the police's time. What am I doing to bother you? I'm breathing. If you were in your house, you wouldn't know that. I don't care if you breathe, but here you are. I don't like the way you breathe. So what, you gonna take pictures of it? You gonna show that to the cops? Be like, this man is breathing. Make him stop. He was antagonizing me with his air intake. Ugh. Pretty soon there won't be enough air for the rest of us. I have had it with y'all Karens. Karen saw some heavy machinery parked in front of her house. And she just brought the pliers, tried to cut the plug. You know, let me just cut the wires. That's not yours. What are you doing? Yeah, I really don't think she was strong enough to do anything. But if she did, if you damage the equipment, they won't be able to move it. And it will be parked in front of your house even longer. You know, maybe use a brain cell or two. Is that car that is? This is my car, yes. This is my car on our driveway. Oh, oh, then why can you guys do it then? This is, this is hers. Yeah, and this is ours. Well, so what's your yeah. point? What's your what point? Somebody parked over there and she parked you guys park all day and... there. What are you talking about? This is my driveway. I park. 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 Park.
I think all the Karens are concerned that she has a brand new car and they are jealous. Get your brand new car out of my sight. I don't even want to look at it, but it's in my driveway. This is my side of the property. I don't have to move anywhere. Come on out. Yeah, the cop is coming out. Yeah, they'll tell you to move your car. Yeah, they're gonna tell you to move your car. This is her driveway. This is our driveway. It really does suck like sharing a driveway with somebody. Their cars are parked on their side of the driveway, and then your car is parked on your side of the driveway. What's the problem? Like, where do you want her to move her car? Some people are just so unreasonable. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one was the worst one. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe during the wolf pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.